Deputy, Deputy Sullivan. Yes, thank you. And uh, I, I do think our, our presidency certainly showed other countries in Europe how to do it and how to do it in a cost-effective and very economic way. Um, my question is in relation to trade. And I think we have an opportunity now to combine the trade with the human rights aspect by insisting that labour rights are part of any trade agreements that we are involved in. And that as we have our position on the, the United Nations Human Rights Council, that we can use that in terms of labour rights also. Um, because we know the appalling conditions in mines and in factories. You know, we had the Bangladesh incident. That was just one of many, and we know that's going on all over. So I'm just asking, where is our stance on this, and can we be very proactive on labour rights in, when it comes to trade agreements? Okay, thanks very much. On the trade side, when Deputy O'Sullivan raised the issue about um, labour rights and human rights and how we relate those with, with trade agreements. A common feature of European Union trade agreements now with uh, third countries is a framework which includes uh, human rights and, uh, and uh, that, that obviously includes labour rights. And the view is that uh, if you have a trade agreement, it provides leverage uh, to ensure that the, that the highest possible standards are, um, are maintained. 